Kitchen. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so basically, I'm just gonna make a pot pie today, okay? Now, what is special about this pot pie? I ain't got no chicken in it. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever made a meatless pot pie. So, with that being said, I will be adding in lots of vegetables like usual. But what I was thinking was potatoes. So I've red potatoes. I've already started chopping right here. I'm dicing up the potatoes right now, making them into little small, little squares. Yeah. And then I'm gonna add in some mushrooms, of course. I'm gonna dice them up. And we have some garlic. Make you mushy mushrooms. And we have some fresh cilantro. Then <laughs> we have some celery just over here chilling, waiting on me. Then I have a white onion today. No red ones, no red ones. And then in this bowl, I will be adding some broccoli, cauliflower, just a little mix of, what is it, a melony, a little vegetable melony, with um, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower. I will chop this up a little bit. I wish I had some nutritional yeast. That would just set it off, y'all. Okay, so I also want to add in a can of cream of mushroom soup to make it like a gravy type thing going on, and then a can of cream of celery. Yes, I'm making it like a little um, quick little easy. Now we're not making no homemade gravy around here. So I'm about to finish chopping up these potatoes. Turn this pan down now. I'm like, what happened to it? She turned it off. Because I got to get loud. I'm naked. Your voice is loud. Am I getting loud? Okay, 
so that's good. You got that chopped up. Now I'm gonna scoop that over. Remind you, this is just gonna be the filling, okay? Now I'm about to chop up some garlic. I think I'm gonna do like three bulbs today. That's from flavor those potatoes. Real good, just real good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you went going for the oven fries. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been killing them oven fries. They would have been taking forever. Yeah, I, mean, it about, I was putting them on low grill, okay? Trying to hurry the process, but it wasn't getting brown. Right. <laughs> I just made good. Put some barbecue sauce on it, that chipotle flavor. Girl. In here. Okay, so now I got the uh, garlic diced up. I'm just talking about when me and my uh, youngest daughter was eating. Just put some barbecue sauce on it. Yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna lie. That's gonna be like one of my things now. Yeah. Instead of putting ketchup on our um, fries, we're going to use a barbecue sauce with chipotle flavor. It's been pretty awesome. Is that for me? Oh, cool. Put it on the um, table for me. You showed it like you with the Irish. <laughs> ah, she can wait. Okay, let me do my hand with this chop. <laughs> Because, no lie, I got these straight out the freezer. 
So just so I can chop them up, I'm gonna run some water over them. Then pour the water off. I'm gonna let them sit for a minute. Just kind of do their thing. Thanks for getting us some things out. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on these. The mixed melon, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots. The salt is gonna help with the frozen part and the seasoning. Let that sit. I'm get on this onion real quick. The onion. Okay. After this, I got some cilantro and I'm done. Well, I think I'm gonna chop yeah, I'm gonna chop the broccoli and stuff just a little bit smaller. So it won't be too bulky. I don't about my mm -hmm. Alright, y'all might not get to see the end product of this. <laughs> but I mean I'm pretty sure y'all know what a pie looks like. The inside of it would probably be interesting, so I might take some pictures of it, post it. Okay. That's enough for the onion. There's some lip gloss on the table. I use a lot of vegetables. Gotta get your butt up and time to get it. Lots of vegetables. Lots of vegetables. Fresh, if I can. But sometimes I just combine. My daughter suggested I put some beans in here. I don't know. I feel like I got a lot of stuff already, but. The beans might take it to another level. You know, you know some bacon, uh, chips and bits, bacon bits. Yeah, let's eat it. I don't know. Let's eat it. Yeah, let's eat it. Okay. Now we have some fresh cilantro. I'm going to double rinse it. I always wash it all my stuff when I get it home, but I'll still rinse it again. Or use it. Here we go. Onions to the side, baby. No, they don't get all on the stove. I don't know. Okay. Oh my god, the dog. Chop up this cilantro. Get it going. Y'all might not want that of this Popeye. I don't know. So I think I'm just gonna make a small one. <clears throat> but so you know my album will be to be safe. Bugs. Right. I might make it bigger. <clears throat> okay, so what I think I'm gonna do. Put that in a blender. Let's see how that works out. Oh, oh, these my blender tops go in this drawer right here. FYI. You know how I am about this stuff. <laughs> See, like I am not even in this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. mm -hmm. I, I should just like anything. Okay. <laughs> so, uh -huh. anyway, oh, anywho, well, my daughter just ignores me. I didn't ignore you. Okay, I, baby. I was that okay I'm in my saying. head. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. I'm like, I didn't do it. Yeah, I was like, okay. So I'm like, mm -hmm. all right. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and blend up some of these vegetables. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm basically blending up the um, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. I'm not gonna blend all of it, I just wanna do some of it. So it'll be like, kinda add to that gravy thing going on. It's gonna be going on in the pot pie. All right, now the ones that I have left over, I will just chop those up and just add those to the rest of the vegetables. By the way, this is just something I am thinking up as we go. So, <laughs> okay, never made it before. Did just it? So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just so you know. Just so you know. But I got a good feeling about this. I do. Tell me. Got a real good feeling. It's gonna be added to my list of quick meals once I get a better technique. <laughs> So I'm just chopping up the rest of the vegetables that I didn't blend up and I'm just going to reintroduce the blended to the non-blended and then add everything together in this bowl just like that and let's just make it so these pieces won't be so big and chunky but we want a little chunky still give them the illusion something oh people like illusions they work all right so now i'm gonna add the blended part to the chopped vegetables okay looking interesting i like interesting now i'm gonna add in the potatoes potatoes come on um Perhaps I should have got a bigger bowl. I didn't think this through. <laughs> yeah. All right. So basically, the goal is to mix this up, but I have put my stuff in a small bowl. So we're gonna switch bowls real quick. <laughs> Don't have room for it. Here we go. Big bowl. Let's rinse it out. Let's get this out of the way. Out of the way. All right. Here we go. Let's try this again. Yeah. It smells so good. Like, literally, it's just, I don't know. Fabulous, that's all I have. All the vegetables together. I haven't even seasoned it yet. Alright, let me I'm gonna leave this out. I think we're gonna go ahead and get a smoothie. Oh, it's too many for this food. I don't know. Oh starving. Alright, wait a minute. Let me uh go cook. I can cook. <laughs> yeah, I have to have these discussions with myself. Yeah. No. It's like so much easier for you to skip a couple meals and you don't cook. If you cooking all day, that's just hard. Like you just like end up with all this cake, cake, cake I got on right now. In the kitchen all day. I gotta manage that. Learn how to not, you know, like my daughter said. Mom, I'm using all your products that you're supposed to be selling. <laughs> Like, uh, I gotta uh, try them out. She's gonna wait. She said exactly. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, truth be told, she's telling the truth. But it's like, I have to try them out before I introduce them to the world. That's just how I do, you know. Run my little experiments on myself and others first. The willing only. The willing only. Okay, so what am I looking for? Oh, oh, oh. What is that? Oh, black pepper. Um. No, that's not what I want. I have like this chicken chicken flavor 
up here. I'm going to add that to the vegetables. Like I said, everything is about flavor. Nosy rosy. Flavor, flavor. Is all the chicken seasoning on? Um, um, I think y'all would think I got like a deep cabinet up here. And I know, it's just like stuff is coming up missing. In the middle. I think so, but um. <sighs> Oh, there's the basil I was looking for for the pizza the other day. Like, really? I had my outright glasses. <laughs> oh, See that basil, guys? I was looking for that. The other day, I was about to lay my pizza out with it. But it still came out good. I can't lie. All right, so yeah, we added a little basil in there. That was not what I was searching for, but it will do. It showed it. Okay, so now we're going to go in with what's next? Maybe she parsley. Um, what else? I don't know. Uh, a little cayenne, of course. A little fennel. Okay, so then we have this, like, poultry season. Let's try a little bit of that. Um, not a whole lot. I don't really care for that smell. So, hmm. <laughs> Sure, it's gonna add some type of good quality. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we're gonna go with some sea salt, Just, of course, white sea salt here. Brown in there. No. Oh, we're gonna put a little cumin in there, y'all. Just add that little, you know, that little, just that little flavor to it. All right, let's do a little fresh rosemary, of course, you know, you know, your girl. Down just a little fennel, fennel is strong. It's kind of overpowering. So. All right, little parsley. That was the red pepper I just put in there too. Okay, now here comes the fun part. I right, wash these cans first. I'm gonna open them and add them to the veggies. So, let's get this going. Let's get it going. All right, let me dry this top off real quick. Okay, so, seems like there's something else I need to add in here. I cannot really, you know, I might have more than. So you said the chickpeas, Autumn? <clears throat> oh my goodness. You okay, said chickpeas, so apples. The curry cream with mushrooms. I ain't, I ain't even on that right now. On these eggs. Okay, so that's the cream of mushrooms I just added in there. Now I'm gonna add the cream of celery. Now this is just gonna give it that gravy filling, you know, well, if you're actually making a gravy. If you wanna make it from scratch, she's my best. I am not doing it. All right. Yeah, buddy. Now we're gonna mix this up. I think I'm gonna add in the chickpeas. I don't know. It just seemed like this is already. Whoa. Yeah. Just whoa, man. Already whoa, man. Girl. I can smell the interesting flavors. Mm. They're so. Like, I don't have a word for it, guys. It, it sounds wet, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds delicious. It sounds wet. <laughs> so, Lala has a different view than me. I. It sounds good, but it sounds wet. Veggies. Like you stir some mac and cheese. Mm, you know it's good, then. <laughs> That's a good sound. All right, so we're going to add in some more of that sea salt. I know it looks like a lot. I know, I know. But it's not. Trust me. We got vegetables in there. What do vegetables do? 
they reduce down to, well, they reduce down and it's a lot of liquid. So, don't worry. I'm not going that crazy. Not today. Okay. I think I'm going to take my daughter's idea and add in a can of chickpeas. Yes, okay, but look, I have the green peas in here or chickpeas. Which one? Uh, chickpeas. Green peas, pink beans, or chickpeas, chickpeas or black beans? Chickpeas. Okay. Chickpeas. I only mess with chickpeas. Chickpeas it is. Chickpeas it is. Where are you? Are you chickpeas? I think they're hiding there. Yeah, it's not, it's not happening. Really? Not today. How are you lying, though? Not today. Green peas. Green peas. Uh, green. Mm -hmm. Well, the green would be more, you know, ideal. Yeah, so let's go with the green peas. Okay. So, this is more work for me. Does that hurt? So we did a vote and we voted in some green peas. These Goya green peas. Straight out the can. I know. I know. Straight out the can. Okay, so I'm gonna actually rinse these off though. Not being bougie or nothing, but uh, there's like a film to be on the beans and stuff. I'm not for that. I'm not for that flavor. I don't know what that flavor is. So I'm gonna do a few rinses. I don't feel like slimy filling or whatever they put on there. This is the part where I get extra. I think that'll do. Alright, so that's that. I just added in the green peas, the Goya green peas, which I don't know if any of y'all tried them. They're pretty good. If you just want to try something new, kind of remind me of like the, the black eyed pea. <laughs> Put green. Mm -hmm. Alright. This is it. One last. We can add a few more flavors and I'm about to put it in the crust. Put some thyme in there. And let's go with some more some heather. Let's put some potatoes in there so you need it. That garlic with some onions and potatoes. You know, set it off, set it off, set it off. Alright. I don't think there's much more I need to do at this moment. I should have cut these um, potatoes up just a little more though. But... It's okay. Should have put a little. Alright, so right here I have my pen that I'm going to make my pepper in. I was going to use this iron skillet at first, but. <clears throat> I'm gonna change the plans. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I basically just let my um dough sit out from temperature, you know. So it gets soft. This is just your average freezer pie crust. Okay. What is she doing? What is she up to? All right, so. Yeah, I, I think I just heard her say she's about to cut her hair. Um, I don't know, we might need to have a discussion. All right, I'm putting a little fresh lemon juice in her in. Girl, you're not cutting no hair. She, that's a heart. Thank you. Just wait good one day. I'm cutting all my hair out today. I must, I must agree. I must agree. All right, so that's that, y'all. Yeah. Got a half of a lemon. Stop.
Sorry guys, we had a break. <laughs> so <laughs> here we go. So that was just some olive oil cooking spray, which I don't know, Gloria. What is don't really need to add that. Mom, look on the table. No, it's not on the table. I'm getting my life. Alright, so now I'm about to just stretch this dough out. Oh, sorry, get my highlighter. Fill this pan up real good, basically. You can tell when you're working with fresh vegetables too. Like it just smells so springtime in here right now. You know, like that fresh outdoory garden smell. Like I'm a, uh, I, you know, I had a farm growing up, so I'm used to fresh, that fresh vegetables and fruits and stuff. You know how you don't even care about stuff till you get a little bit older. <laughs> uh -huh. When I was younger, I could not, I did not care for all that. For what? Living on the farm, it was like hard work. It was like slavery. I felt like a slave every day. Like, yeah, I'm ready for the like, like, just the independence, you know. I'm like having my own everything right on my land. Not going to the store, not going through all the bull. But you know, all that is, is what it is. The double Oreos are better. Okay, so I'm just making sure this crust is laid in here. As good as I can get it. Okay. Now I'm about to go ahead and start putting my filling in here. I already know it's about to get hectic because it is pretty. It's like a lot of vegetables. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah. Okay. So now we're just adding in the vegetables. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm about to turn y'all out on this veggie papai, man. Mm -hmm. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Yeah, my like it. Oh, you gonna be on it too, man. My mom eat cauliflower. You, you, you don't even. You can't tell. Mm -hmm. it's cauliflower. Yeah, I can't tell. I chopped it you, up. You said the same thing where I carrots. And I cooked them up. Mm -hmm. and, and I didn't eat them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you got carrots in there? Uh, no. See. It's only a couple. I'm not even bored of the couple. And I know you put mushrooms in here, so I'm definitely not eating it. Oh, well. I tried. I tried the crusty part. Girl, there ain't gonna be no crust on here. <laughs> it's more like just a veggie. Just all veggie. Light on the crust. That's what it's looking like. So I have like a lot of filling left over. I'm really excited about that. Because I can make some other stuff with that. Some type of stew or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna be real creative. I know that. Okay, so that's pretty much as far as it needs to go right now. I got more than enough filling in here. So now I'm gonna add in my top layer of crust. Real simple, real easy. Um, I hope everybody's enjoying their day. No, I'm late for that. I should have said that in the, in the beginning, but it's been one of them days, you know. It's been one of them days. Okay, in a good way. <laughs> so I just been another busy, 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 busy day. Okay, so now I'm about to lay the crust on top. All right, got to do a little dance, get it right. All right. Let me spread it out. So nice and pretty. You want to cover the crust at the edges. Definitely get some edges. 
Ladies, we know them edges gotta be right. Same thing with this pie. Get them edges, get them edges. All right. I'm gonna have to borrow some crust from right here. Oops, not so tough, easy. All right. In fact, no, we gotta stretch this one on out. So come on. All right. Just trying to make sure I cover the whole papaya. Papaya. real good right now all right so now what i'm about to do is just go in and add in some slits on the popeye <sighs> just on the top crust or whatever so it can breathe with all these vegetables and everything that's in there so it cook real good okay wash my hands That should do it. All right, I'm about to use the same knife I chopped with just because nobody likes doing dishes around here. So we just add in some slits to the top. I'm gonna go with four. Yeah, why not five? Hello. I'm gonna back up, please. <laughs> Let your sister in. Door. All right. Here it is, the finished look before it goes into the oven. See how deep that is? See, 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 see. Okay. I'm telling y'all, oh, you can just smell it, the vegetables. Adam! Oh, I'm busy. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Here I come. I'm sorry. Ooh. Open your door. Why did you just go to the front door? I did a bean. Yeah, okay. And you go out there and come dirty. Oh, I forgot you to say that. Okay, so that is that. I'm gonna set my timer on, I don't know, let's go with, I'm gonna do 45, let's do 45, 50 minutes, okay? Okay? Yeah. Remember, it's just vegetables. Actually, let's do like 50. That'll work. Production. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, yeah. So I think fifty would do. Maybe sixty minutes tops. Cause you want. I want mine to have that nice brown on top. You know what I'm talking about? That nice little flake. Ooh. Now you know I'm not gonna be selfish today. I'm gonna come back on here and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the end results. Okay. Uh, before it's gone okay well i do want to thank everybody for watching my video and i hope all is well and that's it have a good day peace bye